Yo, 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 hey, and we back, and we back. Like I just told you, man, it's the new season, man. It's your boy Jack Thriller, New Jack Thriller City, man. And hey, we got the financial guru in here today with that financial literacy talk. We about to help you get yourself together. Man, yo, y'all give it up right now for Herman Doshe Jr. What's up, boy? I said, what's up, boy? Hey, your name sound like fashion, bro. <laughs> it's a blessing, bro. How you feeling today, bro? I, I, I feel sexy. You I feel, feel very sexy? sexy You're right looking now. sexy, man. man. You're looking you better blessed. Tell a friend. You better tell a friend to tell a friend, man. <laughs> you know, I got my hair cut, you know, and whatnot. The ball hood I'm, brotherhood. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling myself good, right now. Good, good. I couldn't get my beard to do what you was doing right there. I couldn't get it to beard. <laughs> right, right, like right, I, right, right. Yo, you killing it right now, man, bro. I appreciate you, man. We all the way from Philly, man. We had to come to Atlanta. I'm glad you had time to... To put us on the show today, we appreciate you for that. Hey, dog, I, I I've been um ever ever since I uh, I met you, I've already I already knew of you mm-hmm. and whatnot. But when I when I met you, and even my manager was goddamn like, oh shit! I know I he know. was bugging the, he was bugging out. That was wild that he knew who I was. Yeah, I was nah, like, nah, wow. nah. He was bro, you doing your thing? We doing okay, man. Man, dog, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it ain't just it ain't just those people. Everybody know. Right, right, right. right. Everybody know. Mm-hmm. People are watching even when you think they're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. that's why you always got to pay attention, man. You, you got to pay attention. Looking. You never know who looking, man. Sometimes I even be wondering, like, if is anybody even uh, watching or is anybody even looking? And every time, the answer is always yes. Yes. Bro. Sometimes we feel like, you know, it ain't happening fast enough. Right, right, right. Just like that, just like money, it ain't mm-hmm. happening fast right. enough. Mm-hmm. But if you're doing the steps that it takes to get to where you're trying to get whatever that goal is, yeah, then yeah, you you gonna you gonna um, be inside a really great space. Like Coach Dion said not too long ago, and that meme is going crazy. We've keep, been talking keep, about keep Dion. Making the, keep making the plays. Keep making keep the making plays. Keep making the plays, man. Yeah. Keep making the plays. Listen, I want to. I brought you something. I never get anything. Yeah, I brought you something. Bro. Come on now. I brought you something. For man. me. They they ain't sponsor the situation, but still, I wanted to bless you with a nice little bottle of 42, bro. Hold on. Man, come on. Come on. Man, you 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 got me feeling like a bad a bitch. A bad bitch. Right now. A bad this, bitch. This what they be, this what they be talking about you, in the man. songs. And you can all pop that with the crew once we done, bro. They doing this an amazing crazy, job they carry today. I'm not today. gonna pop that with them. But yeah, <laughs> I appreciate this so much. I tried. I tried. I tried. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it again. Don't try again. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, Excellent, I'm bro. Put this right here, man. They, they, I'm, I was on my blind side. Don't y'all be fucking around because we're in the dark. <laughs> Hopefully, Don around. Julio sees this and sponsors the cool, show. Cool, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We got to talk to them about that, man. Absolutely. This that bottle right here. I yeah. know you You put this inside the club, <laughs> and this, this, this was like $1,500 in the 1500 club? Yeah, that's it's, crazy. It's all about the location. It's Dep- all about the your location. Lo- depending on the location, that's where your value is. So I got to make sure I'm in the right location at all times. Get- Yo, you got it together. Got it together, bro. Yeah, you, hey. never, you never heard that story, bro? No, nah, it's a good story. So listen, at the corner store, a bottle of water is a dollar, right? At the wholesale distributor, it's 50 cent. At the airport, it's $6 for that same bottle of water. It's all about location. Boom. I see what you just did. See, see that? Hey, it's only right with that. When, with you talking like that, uh-huh, uh-huh. yo, Chrissy, you, you know what time it is. We got to drink to that. Oh, we got to drink to that? Yeah. It, oh, it's time to drink? Yo, you... Oh, yo, 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 give it up oh, for Chrissy, y'all. Oh, give it up for Chrissy. Just as fine as she want to be. We got, we got to drink to that, okay, yo, Chrissy. Okay. Serve them up. Oh, we got a little douce coming. All right. Yeah, yeah, man. Right, Chrissy right. is uh, the lady with the plan. Like, I like you... it here already. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. And, and you know, she, you, you see, she finds us all out those oh, too. Yes. Uh, yo, Chrissy, Chrissy, the bartender. You. If, if Thank you she's so much. always at those, you know, uh, uh, where you want to be spots. Right, right, right. It's a whole bunch of Chrissies inside them spots, got man. You, got you, got you. It's a whole bunch of Chrissies there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? First time I seen a Chrissy was on Three's Company. Three's Company. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. It. I love Come it. On, I love man. it, bro. Love Chrissy. So what are we cheering <sighs> to? What are we toasting to, uh, Let's toast to uh, new, beginnings new beginnings and being a credit to our race while we getting our credit together. Hey. I see what you did there. You saw what I did? I saw what you did you there. Say, you see what we about to slide into? Mm-hmm. Financial literacy. Ooh, sure, so that. Oh, that was amazing. That's good and smooth. 
Little do say, appreciate you, Christy. Yeah, so man. So talk to me. What we getting into, bro? What you want to talk? What, man, what do people want to talk about today? First off, let's talk about the let's talk about the misconceptions. Okay. About uh, uh, um, what you do. Let, okay. Let for, let's let's first let's talk about what you do, and then let's go with misconceptions. Boom. All right. So um, to everybody who don't know, my name is Herman Dulcy. I am the founder of Bella Sloan Enterprises. I named that company after my firstborn, Bella Sloan. Um, um, shout out to my talking, my second daughter, Olivia Monroe. But I started this company about seven years ago. Um, Fancy, yeah, seven years ago. Um, it's a financial literacy company. Wanted to teach people about getting their credit together, but mostly I wanted to teach people how to fund their businesses because a lot of us we have side hustles, um, but we're not running our side hustles right. So I wanted to make sure we start up our side hustles correctly, start up an LLC, and we can get funding for our businesses so we can expand it and make it better. So my job is to help people fund their dreams. That's my goal. That's my passion. And I want to teach as many people as that as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, like, look, now, what's the misconceptions about what you do? So the misconceptions about what I do is that people— Because it sounds so un— Believable. Uh -huh. So you're saying that I can get my shit together, people always say? Right. Yes, you can get your stuff together. So how you do that, right? And what I like to teach and people think is crazy, people are like, hey, Herman, I see you getting your clients on Instagram, twenty five, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, right, in credit for the business, and it's not in your personal name. And people are like, that's, that's not possible. I'm like, listen, if your personal credit is together, banks will give your business, right, money. And the money they give to your business is a lot more than you would get on the personal side. But I, hold on. I don't have any credit. How do I get my bank to trust me to give me some money, bro? So that's the thing. I need you to get your personal credit together first. Okay. So if your personal credit is in order, the banks are going to look at your history and be like, listen, you did good with five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 on the personal side. I'm going to give you more money on the business side. So that's why I want to make sure everybody get their LLC together, get their business address, their phone number, get all those things on the business side correct. So I want you to have a business website. Look correct as possible on the business side because when you look correct on the business side, I can run to the bank and be like, hey, my man's in order. He took care of his personal credit. He got his LLC. He got his EIN. He got his business website. He looks correct. Let's get him some funding on the business side. And they're going to be like, listen, he handled five, ten, fifteen thousand 15000 correct on the personal side. Let's get him 30, 40, 50 on the business side. Yeah. Yeah. See, you didn't you didn't tell me that when I first met you, yeah, bro. I would have yeah. been did this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. I, I heard yeah. what you just said just now. Yeah, absolutely. It just registered to me. Absolutely, bro. Wow. Yeah, the, the bag And is I a see lot you bigger. about to preach. You got the you you got, you the, you got I got the, the sweat. I'm preaching yeah, yeah. the studio hot for me. Got a paper towel. I see that on the table. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so when I help people do that, bro, that's how they get into real estate. That's how they get into trucking. That's how they start their, um, their T-shirt company because now they have capital because they're like, yo, I ain't got no money to, to start wholesale. And then they go and they, mm. then they, they get their funding and the rest is history. I mm. oh, appreciate you. Thank mm. you so much. Yeah. So because me and Chrissy, we were going into business together. What, mm -hmm. What's going on right now? I'm trying to uh, provide children for mm -hmm. lesbian couples. And whatnot, and I need to. Know, I'm, I need funding for that. Uh -huh. And what it's gonna take for me is to have a great diet, to get some good exercise, right, 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 and some more stuff to be able to produce a great sperm and whatnot. Now, is that something that you can help me get off the ground? We can fund any business, bro. Any we can, business. We can fund any business, bro. You heard that, Chris? You got your LLC. You got your EIN. Uh -huh. You got your business website. You got a business plan. We can help you get the funding for it, bro. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can make it happen for you. And all the companies out there, there's a lot of people that come to me, bro. They say, I got absolutely no money. No money. No I, money. No money. No, hold on. When you say no money, they meaning like, I got absolutely no money. In my pocket or in my account? Nothing. And you saying that you can help me and yeah. you're willing to help me. Right. Get my get 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 your stuff together. So it's if, possible. It's possible. So I'm fresh out of I'm fresh out the group home. Fresh out the group home. So the first thing I want to do, if you're fresh out the group home, I'm going to help you set up your LLC first, get your EIN. LLC depends on what state you're in. So in Pennsylvania, where I'm from, it's about a buck twenty-five, hundred twenty-five dollars. The EIN is free, right? So that's that's the start right there. Then I'm going to help you set up your business email address. You can go to Google.com, get that for six dollars, right? So we're still on the low side. Then I'm going to help you get a business phone number because I want you to look like a real business, right? You're going to go to freedomvoice.com. That's $10. I'm making you look real. When you get the business website, 
they also give you an email also. So my email is info at bellasoneenterprises.com. Right? So you're looking sexy. You're looking like a real business. I want to look sexy. You want to look sexy. Now bring that information to the bank. And I'm like, hey, bank, I want to open up a business checking account, a business saving account, because I want you to look real, look legitimate. I, don't just, I just don't want you to go ask them for money. Be like, hey, I want to open up a business check-in. Yeah. yeah. I want to open up a business check-in, business saving account. Put $20, 30 $50 in it. Just put a little deposit to look real. And if you got a six... A little deposit. Yeah, a little deposit. Nothing What's crazy. What's a little deposit? $50. I can, fifty dollars. You got fifty. I can get fifty. You get fifty dollars. I don't got it, but I can get fifty dollars. I'm a holler at Chrissy. And if you pay attention, we still under three hundred dollars. We're not. Okay. We're not. We're not anything crazy yet. Then we make that deposit. If you have a six eighty credit score, six eighty FICO score minimum. Ah, we gonna get there, Jack. Don't worry I, about I it. Got, I got five twenty five. Credit is fixable, bro. Okay. Credit is fixable. Peace. You put, get a six eighty credit score, uh, minimum of two credit cards in your personal name that are at least two years old because the bank like to see that you had history, then we can help you get a bag. So, so it's going to take me two years? This? No, it's not going to take you two years. Okay, you it's not gonna, that because... Nah, it's not going to take you two years. They like to see that your personal credit is at least two years old. That's what they like to see. They like to see. But they're going to give you something. Okay. They're going to give you something. Hey, uh, Goldie, did you know this? Oh, he did? Okay. 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 Yeah. Gotcha. So those are the minimums. But listen, when we're talking about the maximums, you have the 700 credit score and above... That's when you get even more money. That's when you get the 30, 40, 50,000. Mm. Yeah. 30, 40, 50,000. 50, zero percent interest for the first year. For 700. There you go. If you have With 700, zero interest. zero interest. That's cheap money. So 50,000, I maxed out a $50,000 credit card to get, um, um, to get into real estate. It cost me $500 a month. That's all it cost me. Yeah. Do that one more time. So so what they do is when you have 0% interest, they got to come up with a minimum payment. So the minimum payment is about 1%. So if it was a $20,000 card, minimum payment, $200. $30,000, minimum payment, $300. So these business credit cards are the cheapest money you can get to help start your business. Now, now th 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 something, some, something that I've been coming up a lot uh -huh. is can you pay... Can you pay a credit card bill with a credit card? No, you can't pay a credit card bill with a credit card. Okay. The banks got hip to that. Back in the day, that was a thing, but okay. no, you need cash. So when you when you invest in your business and your business starts to make money, then you take that money to pay back the cards, right? So now that your business is is growing more, more cash flow is coming in. That three hundred dollars that you're paying on the biz on the business credit card is easy. So I invested thirty, but now I'm making a thousand dollars a month, two thousand dollars a month. But the money only cost me thirty dollars, three hundred dollars a month. So your business is growing significantly, and you keep that capital going. And you keep that capital. Yeah, going. Yeah, exactly. All right. So that that's that. This is in the event mm -hmm. that your business is going great. Great, right? So that's why you want to have a business plan. Okay. Right? This All ain't right. for this now, ain't for everybody to jump into. Okay. But I want you to have a business plan. Like, listen, if I get this 30, Herman, if you get me this 30, right? All right, I'm just gonna take out five of it real quick, go buy these t-shirts, go print them out, and I'm gonna hustle, I'm gonna go sell them because I gotta pay back this five thousand. You gotta bet on yourself first. And if it works, you know you got another 25. Now you can expand and you can grow. So you wanna have a plan on how you're gonna execute your business. Before you go take this big bag. So even if I got you to 20, 30, 40, I want you to start small. Invest in yourself small. Proof of concept. Make it work. And the rest proof is history. Proof of concept. Yeah. Now, when you say proof of concept, what you, what you asking me for? Herman? Proof of concept is I want you to prove to yourself that you can make it work on a bigger scale. Right? So you want to start small first. So I'm not telling you to run out and buy 1,000 T-shirts. Start off with 50. Sell the 50 first. See how you sold the 50 T-shirts, and then you 10X it in 90 days. And this is hand-to-hand, -hand, hand, or do I have to do this online? Not hand-to-hand. Hand. Remember, the proof of concept is, all right, let me start to sell it hand-to-hand -hand first, right? Then I'm going to do it online. Then I'm going to open up a kiosk, making sure that step-by-step step I know what I'm doing. And if I'm working, it's working. I got the capital to make it grow. Okay. Yeah. Got you, man. Yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty sure before you had this amazing studio, right, you started someplace, but you kept growing, you kept expanding, and now you got this rundable space. It's no, this my this, up, no. This, listen, this my friend stuff. You. This my friend oh, stuff. And then and you got the capital to make it work. Yeah, I got the friendship to make it work. I know how to be. I know how to. I know how to be friends real good. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm real good at being friends. Friends and whatnot. I'm real good at like talking to people and and letting them uh, like getting people to believe in me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um. 
but I, I haven't gotten to the point where I got the, the folks that you you ever hear that about that rapper in the street they got somebody to invest two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in them or a million dollars or something like that Ooh. inside of his career and it never went nowhere. No, this happens. This happens. That's terrible. That's terrible. This got That's why the proof of concept has to happen. Where's your Soundhound, bro? Where's your YouTube page? Before I invest two hundred fifty thousand, I gotta make sure that it worked. Right? So the little thousand dollars that he put together to get some studio time, how many views on the YouTube before I invest that type of money, the proof of concept has to work. So even with you, bro, before they believed in you, you had a proof of concept. I was on Wildin' Out. There you go. Okay. Right. I work for 50 Cent. Proof of concept. Okay. That's proof of concept. Proof of concept is your business plan. Got so you. even before they invested in you, now they bless you with the studio space because they know you got it. Got you. Yeah. I see what you did. Yeah, yeah, proof of concept. So before I used to, before I used to fund people or fix people credit back in the day, I did my friends for free, right? I'm like, hey, let me get your stuff together. Then I would screenshot the results, post it on my Instagram, Haitian underscore CEO. And, um, and then people was like, wow, you really do this. I'm like, yeah, I really do this. I fund people. I help them get their money. I help them get their credit together. That was my proof of concept. And then when I got the proof of concept and people trusted me and believed in me, then I was able to charge people. And the better I got at it, the price started going up. Yesterday's price ain't today's price, right? So now I was able to expand the business. Now, the more money I got in terms of revenue, I needed more capital to grow the business. So I always tell people, never use your own money. So I had to go to my business partners. Thank you. My business partners, American Express. My business partners, Bank of America. My business partner, Truist. These are your people? These are my people. They're my business partners. You know folks over there. I know a couple of people over there. So I, I called these banks my business partners. I went to them, and I had a proof of concept. I was like, hey, this is what I did last year. Hold on. So you're saying that if if I listen to you, I can get these folks, you can talk to them folks about sponsoring my show? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now we talking good stuff here. Yeah. Depending on the eyes that you got watching this, yeah, they would love to sponsor. It, it's 2.5 million subscribers. Oh, man, you leaving a bag on the table, bro. I need a bag off the table. Yeah, yeah, you leaving a bag on the table. You come to them with them numbers. Hey, we doing two point five eyes on this. You hear that? You can go to Truist. You go to Bank of America. You get that funding. You be like, hey, I got an amazing show. Two point five million views. We making X Y revenue. Not only are you gonna fund me, but you're also gonna be a sponsor of the show because you got the proof of concept already. You you know how to talk to them folks and make that happen. I know how to talk to them folks. We've been doing this eight years now, bro. <laughs> Absolutely. We, we've built relationships. We've built relationships. So in your business, you build relationships, and that's how you grow to that's, that's That's Right. So yeah. in my banking relationships, the, the better relationships I have, the more revenue they give me. Right? So now I prove myself. I pay back the 30 they gave me, right, before the interest came, right, because I don't want to pay that interest. So that interest came month 13. I paid that off, and then they believe me. It's like, Dad, you paid that 30 off in a year. I was like, yeah, I need more money. So there's like, let's increase that limit to 50000 Let's see what you do to it. Because I got proof of concept now, and they're trusting me. All because my affairs was in order. It's possible, bro. It's possible. A lot of our people don't know this information, so we're getting left behind. Why do we don't, why, why we don't know this? Because you know, a lot of people are going to ask that question right there. If that can really happen, it's got to be some kind of catch to this. Why isn't this a, 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 a globally... Uh, um, a recognized thing. Why, why don't my people know this? You like? Let me let, let you answer so, before I jump to the next thing. You familiar with Wall Street Trapper? Very great friend of mine. Great, great. I watched the video that he did. Oh, you guys are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, Wall Street Trapper. He says something very interesting: the financial prey and financial predators. Right. So why would the lion tell the zebra how to get away? Right. Makes no sense. So why would they make this information as public as possible? Right. So keeping us down and not giving us this information. Right. Allows us allows us to be mentally enslaved. Yeah. And because we are mentally enslaved, they can keep us controlled. Okay. So once I started running back and telling my people about this information, because everybody thought it's like cap. That's not true. It's not cap. It is. It is true. But because you've never heard about it before and because it's so unfamiliar to you, it can't be true. There's no way anybody's going to give me. $50,000, $20,000, and my business didn't make any revenue yet. There's no way this is possible. Just because I got an LLC, they're going to give me $10,000 at minimum. So because, because we've never heard of this and our parents never taught us this, we think it's not true. But our counterparts, they've been had this information. So that's why the 400-year 
head start that they had, it continues to grow because they have information and they've executed on that information. Their children and their children's children have executed on that information. So I tell people all the time, Bella and Olivia, they're already rich. Like even if I don't leave them a dollar, because of the information that I gave them with credit, how to flip money, how to keep it moving, how to mitigate your taxes, it's like, okay. Oh, they, they have their oh, information. They're going to be good. Mi- mitigate. Oh. Mitigate. Pay your taxes. Mitigate, right? I tell people all the time, taxes is ghetto, but you want to you wanna mitigate how much taxes you pay because that's the biggest bill anybody has in their life. Yeah. That's the biggest bill. Before you get anything, Uncle Sam is taking 25 to 50%. 25 to 50? 25 to 50%. Why would that take... To- 50, I'll pay 25. <laughs> nah. So you got a W-2, you paying like 25% at minimum. And well, I don't need to get W-2s then. Uh, well, listen, that's a different conversation. That's a, that's a, oh, that's oh, a different oh, conversation. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. I see what you, you did. You see what I did there? We'll yeah. talk later. We'll talk about offline. We ain't going to do that right we here. We'll talk offline. I right, see what right. You, you better trump me. <laughs> Give me trump. trump I want to get trumped too, up. Too, too soon. Too soon. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> too soon. It's too soon. Mm-hmm. Too soon for Trump jokes. But yeah, so getting that information and making sure my kids get it and my children and children get it is super important. And that's why it's my passion to spread that news um, to everybody who can hear it or who wants to hear it. Mm. All right, so we can we can. I have... want to. I, de- I want to definitely hear. I definitely want to hear it and whatnot. Let's, so let's go back to the origin, man. So okay. now you got me convinced and stuff. Um, well, at what point in your life did you say it's time for me to wisen up? What did you want to do, and um, what was that moment where this this whole situation even sparked off? So this situation started, I want to say, seven years ago. Um, my amazing wife Janelle, she um, oh. we, were, we were pregnant with Bella, okay. and um, we took something called a baby moon. People don't usually know what that means. That's that's the last trip you take before you have kids. A baby moon. A baby moon. Baby moon. Instead of a honeymoon, a baby moon. A baby moon. Yeah, so we went to Italy for a couple weeks. So you went to Italy yeah. at pregnant. Pregnant, yeah. She was pregnant. pregnant. Mm-hmm. And this is to build her morale for <laughs> for having, for being pregnant. For being pregnant, right, because our life about to change. So before this kid comes, let's have one last hurrah, right, because everything's about to change. Wow, you're so, a great guy. Thank you. I appreciate you, that. You done brought me. <laughs> you done brought me this right here. You know. And so I gotta be a good guy. You got. You said it, this fifteen hundred right here, man. <laughs> it's not. I know a guy too. I got a hookup too. Yeah, the full fifteen hundred. Nah, man. Everything on discount. Ooh, I can't pay half of what it. Yo. Why you oh, being? So, why what, you being modest? Am, t- did I ain't nobody being modest. <laughs> Child? So yeah. listen, I took her on the baby moon when we was in Italy, baby and um, I remember that I was looking at her pregnant on the train, and I was like, I had to ask somebody you, permission. New York? No, no, we was in Italy. It was a train in Italy. Okay. And I was like, I had to ask somebody permission to be here, right? And when I got back, because I used all my vacation time, I couldn't spend any time with my daughter. So Where you was working at? I was a social worker at the time. Social worker? Yeah, I was a social worker, bro. Making, making 29.5. I was a social worker, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, you you were serving your community and all they gave you was twenty nine five a year? Twenty nine five. My my lawyer, my lawyer friend of mine, she told me you can only make as much as your clients make. Right? So I was a social worker. What are my clients making? Nothing. They're not making no money. So she's a she's a lawyer for Google, right? So that's why she makes half a million a year base, right? You only make as much as your clients make. What does she do over there? She listen. She lawyers for Google. She makes sure uh, they good. She protects. I, I can't do she, that. She protects their billions. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Right. You know what I'm saying. I was, I was like, is they hiring them? I can't do that shit. Right <laughs> so I ne- so I never forgot that. So I was like, dang, I need different clients. Yeah. So as long, long as I'm serving um, um, the community that doesn't have funding, mm. doesn't have money, doesn't have capital, then I'm just gonna make what they make. So I had to change what my clientele was. So, um, so my brother, shout out to my brother Kevin, because um, I was complaining to him about this when I got back home, and he was like, "Listen, as long as you don't own your own, like Jay said, you'll never be free, right?" So he's like, "You gotta own something, and you gotta control it." I was like, "What am I gonna sell? What am I gonna own?" He's like, "Well, you're doing this credit for people. Stop doing that for free, right?" Because I was doing it for free because I was like, "This is important information. I want to make sure everybody gets it." So he was like, "No, they're gonna charge somebody. They're gonna pay somebody. They might as well pay you." So I started to screenshot the results of my friends and family, post on Instagram, and I started charging people for it. And then the rest was history. So put a battery in my back so that I can be in some type of control 
of my revenue. So as I started making money, though, this this is important. I was paying down my debt. So I was paying down student loan debt, paying down credit card debt, and still living low, right? And still honing my craft because I would go on YouTube and learn different strategies to fix people credit. And then I tripped into business funding, right? Because, you know, YouTube, you're looking for ice cream, and then one day you just jump on, like, where do rabbits come from? Like, you just go down the rabbit hole. It happened to me every time. Every time, right? Man, how did I get, how did here? I get here? Yeah. So I got on the business credit stuff and started learning it and finding out how you could fund businesses and get money for business. And when I started teaching into my people and getting people funded, it just it took me to a whole nother level. And then I got different clients because now my clients – weren't people who didn't have money. My clients were businesses who were making money. And it's like, hey, Herm, I need 50000 Hey, Herm, I need 100000 So then they started paying me different money. And that helped replace my salary. I quit my job, and my mom thought I was crazy. You said, fuck all of yeah. them kids. <laughs> fuck them families. I'm finna. I will it's go time get, for me to come I will up. go get this bread real quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be right back. I'll be never. right back, because I was just doing impact. I wasn't making no income. So yeah. It's important that I both. It ain't never no money in, in helping people get their shit together. Nah, there isn't. But you gotta remember where they come from. I go back. I go back to my people. I give them the you, information so they can get some money. Yeah, and, and then you, they help pay me. And you leave right the fuck back out. <laughs> right, right. Like, hey, right. here, this way. Hey, this how you get it. This how you Man, get it. Man, nigga, fuck you. What? <laughs> and you leave. All right, I did my part. I did my part. Yeah, I did my part, making sure they get the information. So that's mm. why I appreciate you giving me on the show. So we can get this to 2.5 million more people. And bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you to help me with my shit. I got you, know, you bro. I this, got this, you. This made sense for my life and Chrissy's life. Okay. And, and, and this made Chrissy, sense. Chrissy, he's serious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this this made made sense for Wiz's life. Okay. Right, okay. Wiz. Boom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goldie, this makes sense for your life. Come on, man. Hey, you know Goldie has a clothing line. Goldie, okay. have you followed these principles yet? You taking notes? I'm gonna implement them all. All right, I can't. I can't. We got the LLC. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got the EIN. You got the business checking I have account. A free question too. Talk to ask yes, a free please. question. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, so it's another. Show. Okay, I got you. Yes. I got you off. Go line. for it. No, go for it. Go for it. I want to hear the shit. Really, I want when I show you what I've done so far, and uh, right now I'm going into the um, business credit stuff. Okay, you're going to nonprofit space, right? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got you impact, but, right? But yeah. I'm also already back, got value in the with the influencers and everything like that with the brand. Okay. So my, my, I'm wondering about the nonprofit. Is that so? So having a nonprofit is extremely important, especially to wealth strategy. Um, so what's the name of the nonprofit? Uh, go to greatest of all time youth. Got, go, oh, that's the sweatpants. I've seen it. I love it. Yeah. So what you would do is you... That's you, what I had on the day I met you. Yes, I remember. I remember. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we had it today. I recognized it. You, but yeah. The, uh, nonprofit, I changed the you to you. Got yeah. you. I love it. So what you would do is you have your nonprofit, you have your 501c3. Um, there's two ways. You can raise capital from the influencers that you know. So when they donate to the 501c3, they get a tax write-off. Right, and now you have money to make impact, right? That's number one. Number two, the money you make from your for profits, like say for instance, you made fifty thousand dollars, right? You can transfer five thousand, you could donate it to your own nonprofit. That five thousand you donated to your own nonprofit to help fund the situations that you're doing, that's a tax write off too. So that's why it can help in taxes also. And the third reason why you having your 501c3 and your nonprofit is super important is because now you have the opportunity to get grants from the government that are free, right? Or even 0% loans that you don't even have to pay back. Because once you show them the impact that you're making in the community and showing proof of concept, we've been talking about that all day, once you show them proof of concept, hey, I took 10 kids in, I took them to Herman Dossie's free financial literacy class in Philadelphia. This is what I'm using the 50000 for. I put them up in a hotel and we fed them. And now these kids know how to get $10,000 in capital. And you show the before and after when what you did with the capital now, you just showed the government that you're making an impact in your community. Guess what? They're going to give you more money for your next fiscal year. So continue to do the good work, but you have options to get capital to continue that impact that you're doing alongside of making some money. 
So can me and Chrissy no. do that with the uh, the same lesbian program that we had with the couples and stuff? Somebody get his mic. <laughs> Somebody get his I'm mic. I'm just saying, if we if we helping them get babies. Absolutely. That's like if, work We too. showed it before and after because they didn't have babies before. <laughs> <laughs> but then afterwards, they're going to have babies. They're going to have babies. Absolutely. Yeah. Can, it, it sounds like an amazing mission statement, bro. You helping out the community. That's amazing. Exactly. Exactly. everybody can't do it. They can't do it. Get the nonprofit. Get the 501c3. And in everything that I'm talking about today, make sure you have your paperwork together. If you got your paperwork together, a lot is possible. Okay. Yeah. So you would take my case. I would take your case. I would take your case. I think we come it's up with doable. a grand proposal. It's doable. Okay. We got we got we got we got to write some things up, but it's doable. I got know, you. I know an amazing grant writer. It ain't writer. too cuz a lot of people like try to shoot me down right off the rip. <laughs> That's their job, bro. Okay. The haters got to do their job. Dream gotta, killers. Right. You got to do your job by, by getting yeah. the dream by, by getting the dreams possible. But no, I have amazing grant writers on our team that work with us with the Blueprint Foundation. That's the that's the impact part of what Bella Sloan does. Mm -hmm. So the Blueprint Foundation, our job is to make sure that the youth get as much literacy as possible. Because what I started noticing is 20, 30, 40 year olds, this is brand new information to them. And I started to get real shocked. Right. So I was like, that means this information I got to we got to get younger with it. So with the Blueprint Foundation, we've been going to high schools and colleges and um, giving them financial literacy. So a lot of times these high school kids looking at me like I'm crazy. They're like this is boring. Huh? What? So this is how I change my narrative because because I got to get in there with you a start Trojan rapping. Horse. No, I don't, I don't start rapping. If I, you want to get your <laughs> shit together today, all you got to do is do it my way. <laughs> You, you, you're calling this wrong, bro. You got to become a rapper, man. Yeah, I see right? This. You, you saw that? Hey, and you see I took it old school, too, and I, with I the know. right there. <laughs> Lean in with it. Um, no, so uh, so everybody knows about the NIL, what's yeah. been changing, right? NIL. They get NIL. Um, name, NIL. Name, Im image, and likeness. So they're giving these high school oh, kids. Oh, this is what the, okay. Yeah. The, okay. Right. So they're giving these high school kids, these college kids, millions of dollars. Yeah, I seen that. Right. I was, I'm, I, I All was right. wondering what that was Bro, and why. Why? Because uh, do you remember Ed O'Bannon? Remember, is that Ed O'Bannon? Yeah. So this goes back like 20 years when they were making money off his name, image, and likeness in those NCAA double games, and he, he sued, right? And instead of the NCAA giving him his bread, they just stopped making the games. They'd rather not make the game. they rather not give him his money. But listen, fast forward 20 years, name, image, and likeness is out. Um, these kids is getting a bag. So my children horse to get in today, when I go to these high schools, I'm talking to these high school players. I'm talking to these basketball, football players where Gatorade, Nike is already courting them. And I'm like, hey, if Nike gave you $100,000 or Gatorade came to you, gave you $100,000, would you want the $100,000 or would you want $50,000? And everybody look at me like I'm crazy. They're like, I want the $100,000. I was like, listen, if they're paying you, like my name is Herman, if they're paying Herman's Social Security number, then you're going to get taxed almost half. But if they're paying your business, if they're paying Bella Sloan Enterprises, it's a whole different tax bracket that you're in. You could keep more of the money. Now I have these 18-year-olds full attention. they like, how? I was like, LLC, EIN, not able to write stuff off on your taxes. You're able to make different moves. So this is why when I go to these tours on different schools under the Blueprint Foundation nonprofit, I'm able to spread this information and give this information. And there's people that see what I'm doing. It's like, hey, I want to donate. So now I'm able to get donation dollars. Um, to the to the program, and this helps me travel the country to spread this word. I was wondering how you was getting everywhere. I was getting everywhere through these donation dollars because everybody believed in the cause. Yeah. But on the flip side, this helps the for profit. There's a how can I get this money? Oh well, Bella Stone Enterprises, the for profit can help you do that. I got a team that helps that. So this is impact and income, proof of concept. I went to my local high schools first. It worked. They like what I was doing. Some people saw what I was doing, and the rest is history. I need your help, bro. You need my help. I need your help. I right, listen. I'm I here. need. I'm I need your it. help. I know what you do now. You know what I do now. I, I know it. what you do now. Cause remember when we met? Oh, we was with Wallow and Gilly. Oh, we and that should be enough, right there. Right there. Yeah. They were my proof of concept. Yeah, that was your proof of concept. Yeah. So, <laughs> where, so wherever I go, they were like, "No, my man Herm got you." Yeah. So everybody's calling my phone. They was, but you know what the problem was with Wallow and Gilly? Talk to me. They were talking about some big Willie shit. You know, like. Man, that motherfucker got me 350000 and you know what I'm saying, on my flights and hotels from all around the world. It's free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, oh, man, 
man, I, I'm a Wim still. I ain't, I ain't in first class yeah. yet. <laughs> Listen, man. So I, I felt like I, I didn't even count for my life. Right. I was like, you know, I'm not consistently in first class <laughs> to be having this first class conversation with you. And so that's why I, I was, you know, sitting in the back because I felt like I wasn't worthy. We didn't have the we didn't have the first class information. Now that we have the first class information, we can make first class moves. Okay. Yeah, because they were spending their own money too. Yeah. I was like, what y'all doing? And I was like, let me get you this platinum real quick. Let me get to these goals real quick. Let me get this Amex real quick. And they was like, what? Because they knew something, but they didn't know they didn't know enough. So I gave them a little bit more game, and they've been 10x and ever since. So I appreciate them introducing us, man. That was a blessing. They was like, hey man, we interviewed such and such, come through the studio. And we met you, and the rest is history. So, so my credit and my business has put me in rooms I would have never thought about. I would have mm -hmm. been in. So, look at me on your amazing show. Hey, that's you know, crazy. You know what's crazy? And I'm gonna tell you another thing that's crazy Talk about to that, me, bro. Is like when you started talking to me, I'm in the corner. I'm I'm just there to, to support me, uh, music. Me soul, soul child. child. Yeah. I wasn't there to to. to I didn't. I didn't even like even uh, understand that you knew who I was, or maybe you didn't. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you didn't even know who I was. I knew who you were, yeah. And I, I was just thinking to myself, the way my man went nuts over you, <laughs> like, so how, how can he help me? Because I ain't, I'm still trying to get my... My stuff together. I'm, I'm trying to, like, I'm getting off the ground. Right, right, right. You know, because this is a brand new thing over here, mm -hmm. getting this whole uh, gospel sex symbol, <laughs> uh, New Jack Thriller City thing popping. This is who we work we every ground day. level. <laughs> you ground level. We ground level. This is a nice ground level, though, bro. This is a nice ground level. This is a good place to start. You're going to do, do amazing work, bro. Yeah. The, the, the vision is clear. The vision is clear. Gosh, <laughs> I just gotta see it, right? Huh? I just gotta see it, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You see it, you gotta believe it too. I gotta believe it. Yeah, nobody else gonna believe it for you. I one hundred percent. You got a room full of people that believe in it, bro. Everybody here. Y'all believe it? Yeah, man. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Hundred <laughs> percent. There it is, right there. Hey, yo, yo, sapase, nambule. I just realized Talk that you were Haitian. I am Haitian, the Haitian CEO. Um, my family, my mother and father came to this country um, in the 70s um, to make a better way. You know, the, the same old story, third world country, but they believed in something special. And they deposited some amazing things in me, and here we are. Mm. And here we are. I'm one of their receipts. So that's why I wear this shirt. Success has receipts. So I am my parents' receipts from the beautiful island of Haiti. Um, shout out to my Zoes and to my Haitians. I appreciate all y'all. that They always support the community and the mission. So what, shout out to them. What's the difference between a Zoe and a Haitian? They are the same. It's the same thing. Hey, hold on. Are you, Chris, are you, you Haitian? I'm from Miami. Oh, so she know the vibes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's one of the first stops. <laughs> Got you. Everything yeah. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Yo, uh, yo, DJ Wiz, aka DJ, I am somebody. Man, hey, you got a couple facts for him, right? Yeah, man. So, um, your book, the startup, the insider secrets on building. Oh wow, there's a there's a test. Oh wow, okay, go uh, ahead. <laughs> how do you how how do you feel like that uh, impact has gone with the business of the book? So. Look at your yelping. Uh, I, Look at you yelping over there. I, I, I appreciate that. Um, I, you know, I forgot who who motivated me. It's like, hey, listen, you got to write this stuff down. And I was like, I want to write a book. Like, that's a lot of work um, to write a book. But shout out to my my mentor, Ty Crandall. Um, he's like, listen, you got to get a that book. That sounds like a nigga that's going to succeed. <laughs> Ty, Ty Crandall. Crandall. Yeah. Um, it's the Crandall me, for me. Yeah. He told me he got you, you got to um, put this stuff on paper. Mm. Um, you got to make it digital at least. Um, or a paper copy um, um, to get that out because, believe it or not, you just look a little bit more sexy, a little bit more legitimate, right, when you say you are an author, right? Like you wrote a book, like you sat down, had a little discipline and wrote something down. So I wrote the book and um, wherever I go, I'll be like, hey, I'm an author too. I have the book. You could definitely read it. We show you how to build your business credit only using your business's EIN, and we break that down in that book. So catch it on Amazon. I appreciate the plug. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How long did it take you to complete this book, man? Uh, about a year. A about year. a year, yeah. I was busy. 
I was busy. Wow, so this was like like a little side thing in between. Exactly. All your hustling and bustling. All the hustling and bustling, right. Wow. Yeah. And when it came out, did it did it have the results that you, you know what I'm saying, like, was hoping for? Listen, man, we were the number one book sold in my house, right? Mm. So we sold the... Sold a whopping hundred copies the first week. It was amazing. But hey, I wrote the book and I was disciplined. But as my notoriety increases, the book sales increases. So we've been doing really good with the book sales. Um, but I think everybody that supports, you can catch it on Amazon. Catch it on, Cap- on Amazon. I'm yeah. really proud of you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Thank you and so I'm, much. And I'm so excited to get to work with you and, you know, you help me build this platform, man. I look forward to making you a receipt, level. bro. I, re- I look forward to that, man. I, mean, I want to be a receipt, man. I look forward to it, man. My I've been the wrong kind of receipts in life, you know. What and, you mean? <laughs> you know, people been, people been, you know what I'm saying, writing me off and... Yeah, for the wrong stuff and whatnot. And, uh, you know, this is going in the right direction. This is what I want to do. Bro, you got the information now. So it's I got the information. Yeah, so it's just time and to And not execute. only do I got it, but I understand it. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's not as complicated as people make it seem. And see, that's what, yeah. that's what, you, what I was being thrown off by yeah. at first. I was mm-hmm. just like... It can't man, like it bro, can't be that easy. That sounds scammy. That don't, that don't sound right. It sounds scammy. Right. I, mean, I thought you were speaking a little little Japanese to me. And right, whatnot, right, right. And I didn't think I was smart enough to even hang with what you were talking about. So I knew I was gonna get fucked over <laughs> nah. and whatever. But now I, I'm like, hold on, homeboy. He really trying to help his people. Exactly. Just follow the basic simple steps. Okay. If your credit is into is together, you put your business in position. You go to these banks, you tell them the right words, they're gonna get you this funding. Now, the world looking, the world looking crazy right now, right? But still, it is still possible for people to get funding and start their own business and invest in themselves. So I'd rather bet on myself than anybody else. So I've never lost betting on myself. So I'm I'm betting a thousand. So I expect everybody to do the same. Cause you get somebody ten thousand dollars, they're afraid of it, right? They scared. It's like, oh, what am I gonna do with ten? Because remember, they printed out all that money like two, three years ago, and everybody just blew the bag. They didn't know how to invest in themselves. They were never taught how to do it. So I want to make sure I teach people how to do it to set themselves up correctly to be successful. I mean, I blew the bag, bro. I was at Ruth Chris. You was at Ruth Chris? I was getting a ton You was in the line, Louis Vuitton, bro. You was no, in no, those I didn't need that shit. All I was right. one of them niggas. All right, all right. I ate, <laughs> I, you I ate, ate all my money. You ate all your money. I Got ate you. all my money, man. Got I, you. I was getting them Tomahawk steaks. And oh, them, my God. Them, uh, that, that, uh, the the gold cover. Speech. The salt, you was a salt I got, bay? I did, and I did, I did go. I went to salt bay. I, I let him put the meat in my mouth. Whoa, whoa. Hey, yo. Who mans, who mans is this? <laughs> it was good, bro. <laughs> nah, let him answer it. Hey, so, so, so what I did, I, what I did, I took the meat off the thing and I put it in my mouth. You myself. see how left this conversation is. I took, I, I took it off the, I took it off the little knife. Uh huh. Because he tried to feed it, put it in my mouth. Ma- see, self. I'm gonna be on somebody's meat. Out. This is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I put it, put took the meat myself. Got you. That's yeah. what you. That's how you blew the bag. Yeah, I blew the bag. It's, right. Yo, Salt Bay. He was, he salt was tripping. Bay, he's getting all the bread. He's getting all the bread to do absolutely Nathaniel. <laughs> and, and guess what? You know what I you know what I realized with, what, with Salt Bay? What, bro? I needed sharper knives. You that, need sharper knives. I, that's all I needed to do was get some sharper knives, and I could do the same shit same, that they were doing. Same stuff. Yourself, bro. Yeah. My knives was too dull. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing it was. Right. What, that's the only thing separate me from Salt Bay was my knives was too dull. And, and Salt Bay had business credit, and Salt yeah. Bay had a business plan, and, and Salt he had Bay Puffy. Had, and he had Puffy, yeah, yeah, that helps too. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Puffy, <laughs> Puffy, hey, after Puffy had put him on, it I, was over, bruh. It was over because the that. meat looked a little different when you got <laughs> Puffy next to you. Exactly, you exactly. feel me? But continue to make your plays until Puffy come through. Continue to execute. You gonna do the same thing, bro? Because you're doing an amazing job here, bruh. If you see it, then I know yeah, it's yeah, man. It's and beautiful. Then, we doing our thing. We doing our thing, man. We doing yeah, our thing. We doing our thing. Hey, is we doing our thing, y'all? Yeah. Hey, this is day one, man. This is day one. Yo, so, you know, let's, uh, we, we about to go ahead and wrap up real quick and okay. whatnot, mm-hmm. but give me top five things people need to know before they hit you up. Top five things before they hit me up. Number one, um, make sure your credit is together. If your credit isn't together, um, you could definitely hit me up on um, Instagram, Haitian underscore CEO. Um, and we got a team that can definitely educate you on getting your credit together so we can put you in position. Number two, make sure you get your LLC. 
and your EIN, right? Make sure you just set up your business because I can't get you business funding, which doesn't show up on your personal credit report, right? That's a benefit of it. Um, I can't get you that unless you have that piece of paper. So you can definitely hit up my brother, um, Kevin J. Dulce on Instagram, D-O-L-C-E. He'll help you get your paperwork together. Number three, make sure your business looks sexy. So I want your business to look real. Just like when you go to Chase and Bank of America, they're a real business. I want you to have a business email and a business um, website. You got to look super pro. Number four, make sure you have a business phone number. So you look sexy to the business phone number also. And number five, this is cheesy and this is corny, but execute on the information that is given because a lot of information is dead in notebooks and in iPads because people never executed on the information. So I could talk to I'm blue, right? And I'm dark skinned. So I could talk to I'm blue, but if you don't execute on this little bit of information, we're never going to get anywhere. So those are my top five things for you to execute, to put yourself in position and to make yourself a receipt. There it is, man. You heard it live from the Haitian sensation, Herman Doshe <laughs> Jr., man. Hey, this is the first, but it's definitely not the last time you're going to be through here, man. Yo, we're going to see you next time. Hey, until next time, man, New Jack Thriller City, I'll see you later. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, Chris.